women, when they are on their menstruation, during the fasting day, they are allowed to eat. Because it's haram for them to fast. So they shouldn't even pretend as such. Clearly, they, they shouldn't go and open eat in front of others, but they are allowed to eat. The reason why I mention this is because if you do break your fast in any way whatsoever by swallowing something by mistake or whatever the case is, you're not allowed to now start eating for the rest of the day. You have to continue to act like a fasting person out of respect for it until iftar time for anybody except for the menstruating woman because she's not allowed to fast. As opposed to if she was on menstruation and then she became pure in the morning, for example, now she has to continue to stay like a fasting person until iftar time. So it's different from when, the, when it st starts and in progress and when it ends. So it's essentially what is your state now? Are you in menstruation or not in menstruation? If you are in menstruation, you're allowed to eat. If you're not in menstruation anymore, then you have to act like a fasting per person even though you can't fast anymore because you weren't capable of fasting at the beginning of the day. And the reason why you should do that to avoid eating is out of respect for the month of Ramadan. So what you broke your fast, well, don't make you worse by now going and eating. I mean, we want to eat free zone at that time. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to create. If you're eating at that time, you're disrespecting it. So it's an adab issue. I mean, if you did eat, it's makru tahrimi. So it's not going to make another kafara necessary or anything like that. It's not going to make any expiation necessary. It's just sinful to do that. Having said that, if, some, uh, if, uh, if in some cases somebody is extremely sick or whatever, then that's a different issue.